Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road. Now the most notable features on this TRD Off-Road is its crawl control and multi-terrain select. You also have your heated front seats and your backup camera. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this TRD off-road is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if you take a closer look you have your hood scoop as well as your plug-in block heater. Over on the side you have your 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You also have your running boards and then taking a look up top here you have your integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors, heated mirrors, vortex generators. Up top, you'll see your roof rack, and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is white. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather into your seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you will see your mirror controls along with your window wiper deicer and your on off switch for your rear cargo power outlet. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your window locks, power locks, window controls. And taking a look at some of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel, they include your scroll function, back, mode select, volume control, Bluetooth, voice recognition display, and cruise control. Now with the multi-informational display you're going to see a couple of different options on here. So using the display button on your steering wheel there you'll see your speedometer as well as your average fuel economy, cruising range and a couple of other additional features which include a digital compass as well as an exterior temperature gauge. Now taking a look at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you're going to see a couple of different options on there, which include your digital clock, you have your hazard lights, and then going inside the apps menu, you'll find your navigation, audio phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. Now you do have your temperature control settings with your fan speed, mode select, and your temperature control. You'll also find just down below your USB and auxiliary input with your power outlet. You have your 4x4 select and it's matted to a automatic transmission with your TRD style shift knob. Open and close for your power rear window with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. And taking a look at the very top here, you're going to see your integrated uh, garage door opener as well as your open and close for your power moonroof with your tilt up and down feature. Traction control on and off with your A-track along with your rear differential lock. And at the front here you'll find your multi-terrain select and your crawl control. Now the nice thing with your multi-terrain select is it's going to show up just on this multi-informational display just asking you to shift to uh, neutral when you're trying to uh, flip through them or change it to the terrain that you're going over. So as you can see you do have your mud, sand, dirt, loose rock, mogul as well as your rock. Now when you turn on the crawl control feature is going to ask you to switch to your 4 low and you want to actually go into a uh, neutral position as well just when you're um, shifting through the crawl control feature so as if you take a look at the very top you can actually adjust your speed so depending on if you're going across some shale then you can want to go a little bit slower across just so you're not slipping you also have your auto dimming rear view mirror and if we just throw this into reverse here for you as you can see you have those nice guiding lines on there on your backup camera which makes things much easier for you when you're trying to back into a stall. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on the back of your tailgate you'll find your backup camera just on your left hand side. Rear hatch at least located just underneath your forearm emblem. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now the nice thing is you do have the cargo cover in the back here, so if you want to cover up your valuables just while you're going from place to place, you can use it this way. And then over on your right hand side you can find your uh, power outlet. So if you're out at the cabin or the lake during the weekend you need to plug in your tools, you can do so. Or if you'd like, you can plug in a mini fridge or a couple of speakers. 
And if you do need the uh, additional sp uh, cargo space, then you can actually fold down that 60-40 split in rear seats as well. And if we take a look in the back here, you have a couple of areas that you can tie down any loose cargo, just on your left, right, front, and back side. Now, the other feature that I like is that you can actually open up the power rear window from the outside. So as long as you have your key on you, you just place it in the key slot here. And then if you turn it to your left and hold it, it'll actually roll the window down for you. Now, if you let go partway, it'll keep that window partway open. So you want to make sure you hold that button down the entire time. And then that way, if you need to throw a couple of things back here really quickly, you can do so. And then vice versa, just turn it to your right, and then the window will close up for you. And then if you forget to close or lock up the doors, don't worry, because when you actually close the window this way, it locks all the doors automatically for you. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.